This is the angle. This is... I will only make videos with artistic angles. Hey doodlebugs, it's Mary, it's Tuesday, and it's April, and it's been so long since I've made a video. And it's already gotten old, the angle joke. Or has it? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I hope you've been having a wonderful couple weeks uh, and a great start to April. I am so excited and relieved. So, buttons, uh, here's where I've been. My goal for April is to do like a work hiatus. So I've been working on finishing up my videos for Monday uh, on my main channel, the art videos. And the objective is to just set this month aside to collect my thoughts, put together some projects, do some collaborations, and be working without having a deadline breathing down my neck. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the dream. Because I like making videos. I don't like that I started hating, not hating, dreading them. There's nothing worse than finishing a video on Friday, if I'm lucky, and most of the time it's on Sunday. Finishing the video and feeling that weight lifting only to realize, oh, I gotta do it all over again this week. I'm trying to schedule myself into doing things in seasons. So a few times out of the year, I'm gonna just step back and say, I deserve this time, I earn this time, and I love myself, and I talk in this sassy voice and do the hand thing to make me feel powerful because it actually feels weird to say these things and to act on it. I'm realizing I have been living in survival mode for a very long time, which a lot of freelancers and artists do. You, you gotta keep moving because if you stop moving, you die or you, you don't die. You just stop producing things and then you your creative career dies. It's very weird to accept that I'm in a semi-stable situation and if I step away for a month, it's not all gonna disappear. It's strange. It's just one of those things that gets seated in you. It's sort of like, you know, uh, you may be this person or you might know a person who's constantly in bad relationships or they always have drama in their life. Something wrong is going on today and it's like, I think you just like having things wrong in your life. I, I think that's just how you're programmed. I've been programming myself to keep moving and not stop and that kind of gets overwhelming after a while. So looking forward to chilling out, which is why my foot's on my desk. Trying out this new camera, I do realize I uh, gathered expectations for doing vlog every day in April and it's the fifth and this is episode one. So um, I'm gonna try to pick it up. I'm gonna try to pick it up from here and go as far as I can, which sounds very counterintuitive to what I was just saying and my plans of stepping back in April. But I am wanting to do some more creative stuff on this channel, which is why I made it. The big realization is that no man is an island and it's time I hire an editor <laughs> and get some help. A lot of revelations, a lot of uh, discoveries. Oh, here's something I want to do. Part of all these revelations is I've been doing these morning journals I'm holding up a journal as evidence. The idea of it is first thing in the morning you just like vomit out random text or collected thoughts and sentences, but you just put it on the page. So I thought it'd be fun to just read a random line or a small snippet of the journal every day in a video because quotes. So today's diary entry is, as long as I don't commit to one thing forever, I'm all right. Me in the future, remember that. And that's my diary. And this is what I'm wearing today. You know what? I work from home. Okay, settle down. I could do this. And now I can't really decide if I want to go to the farmer's market today or if I just want to stay home and get some work done. If I don't go to the farmer's market today, we don't have fresh veggies until Sunday. In Southern California, there's only so many farmer's markets a week. If you can't make it to the Tuesday market, you gotta go to the Sunday one or the Friday one. Regardless, I'm gonna have to change before I go outside. How do you describe it? There's so, so many ways to describe it. I think it's, it's pretty much a collection of eclectic exhibits from museums. So it's...